everyone, Andrea Pearson here. Um, in case you didn't already know, because I always forget to do this in my videos, I am an author of fantasy and sometimes sweet western romance. And today I'm going to be doing a character spotlight. And the person that was requested the most was Professor or Mr. Coolidge. And he is one of my favorite characters. So I was actually kind of excited and happy to do a character spotlight on him because I think he's pretty cool. Anyway, so just a little bit about Professor Coolidge or Mr. Coolidge. So he was first introduced in Jacob series, which is the Clinic Chronicles. <coughs> And uh, he was, <clears throat> sorry, he was introduced as Mr. Coolidge. He was Jacob's strict and kind of, I don't know, if I'd been in Jacob's place, I would have been like, you're a jerk, because kind of was a jerk. But yeah, he's uh, the strict math teacher who ends up tutoring Jacob uh, while Jacob's off doing all his magical stuff. Um, anyway, so yeah, he's introduced there. And then I realized I wasn't quite done with him. And he ended up going into a bunch of my other series. He's actually been in pretty much all my main series just because I just, I really like his character. He's, he's strict, he's intelligent, he's powerful. He's, you know, while I was writing Jacob's books, I was like, this, this isn't enough. What, what we've got here is not enough. And so when I started into Nicole's world and the Mosaic Chronicles, I decided that their professor would be Professor Coolidge. And okay, so he's an expert in magical items and in magical cultures and things like that. He loves touring around trying to find people with powers that he's never met before, which is how he ended up with Jacob, uh, because he was drawn to Jacob's magical powers. <clears throat> and if you haven't read Jacob's series yet, Jacob has powers. <laughs> Pretty much all of my characters have powers of some sort. Uh, but uh, let's see. He's married to Hala. I don't know if you guys know who Hala is. Um, Hala is from Jacob's world and, um, and Professor Coolidge is not. Um, Jacob's the one who accidentally, accidentally kind of brought them together. But it's kind of funny because the, these scenes with Hala and Mr. Coolidge and Jacob are some of my favorites to write because uh, Jacob actually had a crush on Hala and time travel is involved. They were about the same age when Jacob met her. But by the time he, you know, He's not in time travel mode anymore and he meets uh, Hala as an adult. He's like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I had a crush on her. <laughs> He's like, that's disgusting. And yeah, so he, um, Hala and Professor Coolidge end up hitting it off. And so they get married. And, and in Lizzie's series, they have two kids by now. So um, let's see. Oh, and something else. Um, okay, so before I do that one, uh, he dyes his hair, which provided a lot of entertainment for me when I was writing Discern, because Lizzie was like, um, one of the teachers was like, Professor Coolidge dyes his hair. He's a silver. And a silver is in the Arate world is like the super powerful person. And the, the pref professor, uh, Professor Whitman was like, yeah, Professor Coolidge dyes his hair. And Lizzie's like, no, he doesn't. But then while they're waiting for their class to start, she goes up to him and she's like, you do dye your hair. And there's like a whole ton of students watching. Um, and of course, he's like, Ugh, whatever. You've been talking to Professor Whitman, haven't you? Uh, but the thing that I find most interesting is he does not have a first name. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed this, but I've never given him a first name. And in this series, like in the Coven Chronicles, I was trying to decide what to call him. Uh, I was like, okay, so what what's Abel going to call him? Coolidge, because that's what all the characters call him is Coolidge. Mr. Coolidge is what Jacob calls him. Professor Coolidge is his more formal title, but all of his students just call him Coolidge. And so I'm like, you know what? I don't know if I'm ever going to give him a name, a first name. Um, my husband says his first name is Professor. So maybe, you know, <laughs> anyway, uh, comment below if you would like to. Um, I mean, basically just tell me any other characters you'd like me to do a spotlight on. And next week for the live video, I'm going to be doing um, I haven't decided what yet, but it's going to be either like an image or an article or something like that that helped inspire my books. So if you can think of um, a character you'd like to hear about or if there's anything that you know that has inspired my story then let me know below and I'll talk to you later. Bye.